Israel Hamas tensions continue to soar. The militant group has said that it is withdrawing from the true stocks. It follows the killing of at least 15 people after Israeli strikes hit an UN run school sheltering displaced Gazans. Most of the killed included women and children. The attack was launched a day after the targeting of Hamas's Khan Yunis commander, Mohammed Taif. And as per Hamas officials, the UN-run school in Nuserut camp came under indiscriminate Israeli bombardments on Sunday. They said that the two missiles targeted the upper floor of the Abu Arban school, which was housing thousands of displaced people. However, the IDF claims to have been tipped off about the presence of Hamas militants inside the school. The Israeli military also said that it took several steps to limit civilian casualties, including the use of precise munitions and intelligence. We entered the classroom and all of a sudden they were carrying down my sister hit in her head. She was dead. My young sister and Mahmoud were lying on the ground. They all were martyred and my mother was injured in her head. All were lying dead on the ground with blood. Oh God. Meanwhile, the IDF claims to have killed Hamas's Khan Yunis military chief, Mohammad Daif, in Al Mawasi. It also targeted his deputy, Rafa Salami, but are unclear about his fate. This comes after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that Israel will quote unquote get to the whole leadership of Hamas. However, Hamas has also confirmed the safety of Mohammad Daif. The group has not issued any statement regarding his deputy. Also on sun Sunday, Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant mirrored the Prime Minister's statement. While addressing Israeli troops, he said that Israel's pursuit of Hamas militants will quote-unquote continue for years. Uh, Saturday's attack has killed over 90 Palestinians and left over 300 more injured, making it the deadliest in weeks. Hamas has called the attack, and I'm quoting, a massacre. Meanwhile, Yemen's Houthis conducted two military operations, one in the Gulf of Aden and one in Ilat, at the southern tip of Israel on Sunday. Houthi military spokesperson said that the group targeted Israeli ship MSC Unific in the Gulf of Aden with ballistic missiles and drones. Additionally, the rebel group also attacked military targets in Ilat with drones. They attributed the attacks to the Israeli bombardment in Al Malwa. <laughs> عملية مشتركة استهدفت سفينة ام اس يونيفيك الاسرائيلية في خليج عدن وذلك بعدد من الصواريخ الباليسية والطائرات المسيرة. So in the latest, Hamas's political office member Izzat El Rashik has denied an AFP report that Hamas froze the hostage truce talks. Now that report came after Israel said it targeted Hamas's number two, Mohammed Daif, and Hamas's Khan Yunus brigade commander, Rafa'al Salame. Now Hamas has said that the strike left 92 dead and they didn't differentiate between Hamas fighters and civilians in that number. The Israel Defense Forces said that they struck a building in a fenced off Hamas compound, not in the tent camp for displaced Palestinians, using surgical intelligence. Now, IDF Chief Herzi Halevi suggested that few civilians were harmed and the IDF's operations, he said, were creating pressure on Hamas for a deal to release the 120 hostages. Now, at the weekend and again today, we've seen continued protests in Israel are calling for a deal to be made and according to Qatari media, mediation is expected to continue this week in Doha. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.